Hello friends, this is Yeshan Agarwal from LaptopGraphics.com uh, Today I uh, get this laptop which is already converted uh, by me a month ago and uh, now it's come in warranty period the problem is different than the last time the problem is it's come here in a white display mode so when I turn on this laptop it gives this white display so we have to check what the problem is so I connect my ground here usually it's drop the 3.3 volt LVDS which is here uh, when I check on the LVDS connector it gives me output 1.8 volt so this is the problem uh, by the which uh, this white display is come so this transistor is operating the 3 volt suspended to LVDS so input is good which is 3.8 showing due to my battery is low so the output is not so accurate so the voltage variation is due to my low battery so don't panic the output is low uh, comparison to the input so we have to check out what is problem so literally I check so I have to first I have to change this uh, transistor uh, sorry this is a MOSFET so first I have to change this MOSFET and then check these uh, regulators uh, MOSFET re regulators which is operating this MOSFET due to its low and high pulse inputs so let's check and change the uh, faulty component which is in my suspect this So guys this is the circuit of AX1 CQ42 which we are tracing here. So I did not get this voltage. This is 0.4 sometimes 1.8 and sometimes 2.0 but don't fully transferred here because this MOSFET is not uh, switching proper correctly. So to transfer this uh, voltage from here to there uh, from 3 pin to 1 pin I have to regulate this gate so this gate is drive by 15 volt and 330k resistance is here for current correction so I have to I have only two components which is uh, casing problem which is this C20 and Q2 so I asked to replace this first oh I asked to replace this one first but uh, I think there may be a problem due to these two uh, components so first of all uh, capacitor is more easy to change so I have to change first this uh, because sometimes I uh, realize that these capacitors which is very uh, in small value which is uh, 0.022 microfarad uh, these capacitors are casing most times of the circuit so I have to change this uh, change uh, I don't say change first I have to uh, only pull out this capacitor to check for bit time for little time to the whole voltage is transfer from here to there uh, from 3 to 1 pin so if the uh, voltage is fixed then I replace this capacitor uh, for circuit uh, accuration so let's remove this capacitor first and check the problem is solved or not so guys uh, here is my circuit as you can see here I remove this capacitor which is uh, C20 as shown you in schematics so after removing this capacitor 
for a bit a little bit of time i can check the voltage is fully dry wear or not so if voltage is going and screen is uh, doing properly so then i placed here c20 uh, again a uh, okay capacitor which is 0.022 microfarad so let's see i'll connect is here and now I turned on hmm. system is turned on let's see oh the capacitor is faulty so the screen is come here so as you can see the uh, later I uh, told you for this uh, this uh, transistor to replace but uh, when I check the uh, schematics I uh, I see the two other components may be responsible for the driving to this MOSFET. So I change first, uh, remove first this capacitor, and my problem is solved in first try. So my I have to place the correct um, uh, capacitor here. So the display is come. The fault is this capacitor. So thank you guys for watching this video. This is Yashan Agarwal from LaptopFix.com. Thank <laughs> you.